Welcome to our first Putting Together the Pieces program for CSC 171, Introductory Python Programming. The purpose of the PTP programs is to show several Python topics as they apply to a more realistic program. Since most programmers and programming languages count from zero, we are calling this Putting Together the Pieces program number zero, creating a Camden County College email account. We will walk through solving a realistic programming problem, generating Camden County College student email addresses. This program lesson prerequisites are that you have read Chapter 1 and worked through the Chapter 2 Python topics on assignment and string functions. Let's get started. Step 1 for creating software solutions is to analyze and define the problem. Here is our problem description. Write a program that creates student email accounts for Camden County College students. The program needs to retrieve the student's first name, last name, and student ID number, and then create the student email address by concatenating the student's first name, a period, the student's last name, followed by the last three digits of their student ID number, and at students.camdencc.edu. The program should display the student's Camden County College student email. Our next step is to design a solution. We need to plan an overall strategy to take this word problem from a description into manageable parts to solve the problem. Let's use the input processing output strategy described in Chapter 1. Although it may at first feel backwards, an excellent strategy is to first focus on identifying the outcomes or outputs of the program. These are our goals for the program. Reading through the narrative again, we target in on the outcome producing the student's email address. Words in the narrative like your program should output, or display, or produce are cues to look for in the problem description to help identify the outputs part of a design. It's good to go ahead and decide on the names for the programming variables and use them in our IPO chart. It will make it easier to translate our design into actual Python code. Note that this part of software development is language neutral. We can plan this structured design and code it in any language that supports a process-driven or procedural approach. We are still in the thinking through the problem phase. The coding comes later. Next, we consider the inputs provided. These are highlighted in orange. We need to ask the user to enter their first name, last name, and student ID. We will need all of these pieces of information in order to create the email account name. In the problem description, look for words such as input, request, retrieve, and ask. They will be clues for what needs to be input to the program in order to complete the task. Again, now is a good time to decide on the names of the variables you will use inside the program. This will help us stay consistent once we start coding a solution. They should start with a lowercase letter, use camel case, and be descriptive. Now it's time to determine what the process part will entail. It's not unusual for this to require lots of steps. As the programming problems become larger and more complex, we will need to break the process part into several or even many smaller units. This is complicated enough that we will separate it into two parts. 
We have the first name and last name as inputs, and we know that every student email address will end with the at students.camdencc.edu. But just using the last three digits of the student ID is not so straightforward. Let's separate that into its own step. Camden County College student IDs are seven digits, but we only need or want to use the last three. Recall that in Python, we can retrieve a slice of a string, also known as a substring, from the original string. Perfect. We will extract the last three digits of the student ID into a variable named last three digits. We do this by using two indices inside brackets, separated by a colon. One very cool and somewhat unique Python feature makes it easy to count backwards from the end of a string. For an index, minus 1 means the last character in the string. Minus 2 is second from last. Minus 3 is third from the end, etc., which is what we're interested in doing. The blank after the colon indicates we go to the end of the string. So minus 3 colon blank will give us the last three digits of the student ID. In order to create the email address, we concatenate the first name, a period, the last name, then the last three digits, and the at students.camdencc.edu. We'll save this string in variable email address. Again, it's a good idea to decide on the names of the variables right now and include them in our design. OK, we're ready to code. I have already added the important documentation into the top of a program file that includes the name of the file, the description, and my name as programmer and the date the program was coded. You can use the program shell provided and follow along if you like. Here is the program shell. We see the comments at the top and we'll start by coding the input piece. Go ahead and open up the putting together the pieces program zero shell. For input we need the first name last name and student ID. Let's code that now. Let's get the last name. And the student ID. Let's code the process section. We need the last three digits of the student ID. We'll set that to the student ID sub minus three colon a blank
and then we'll create the email address by concatenating the first name plus a period plus the last name plus the last three digits plus the string at students.camdencc.edu. Finally, the output needs to print the email address. So let's print and I'm going to use a new line character Your student email address is, end the quote, plus email address. And let's go ahead and give them information regarding how to log in the first time with the default password, print on a new line again. Your password is your six digit birth date followed by capital C and two lowercase c's. Let's give them an example. January 27th, 1990. Close the string. Let's Control S or File Save. And function key 5 or run module. Great. Happy coding!